So these are top 27 best PC games that you need to have right now. And we're going to be talking about mainly about the PC games that are either exclusive to PC or the games where the main platform is PC and where everything else is simply ported and it's rather different on other platforms basically. So without further ado, let's just get it started. And as always, you know the drill. I'm not here to waste your time and I'm going to give you the answer of all the 27 games right away and you can actually see the list of all the games in the description down below or you can see them all right here in the timestamp so if you just wanted to have the list okay you have it here and if you want to jump to the specific game you can do that as well and if that's all that you wanted here well don't forget to hit this like and subscribe button well because that makes me happy and well if you want to, it will still make me happy because you're here so without further ado let's just get to the games number 27 is mount and blade 2 the sequel to amazing sandbox rpg game that came out years and years ago mountain blade 2 is weirdly enough still in early access and it is a game which is happening in a fictional medieval universe you start with completely blank character and you are free to role play any role that you want you want to be a wandering mercenary you can do that you want to be a warrior for the large army you can do that you want to be a wandering trader you can do that you want to be a gladiatorial champion you can do that you want to be a lord you can do that you want to be king you can do that basically everything that you can do in a medieval kingdom you can do it here amazing game 100 percent Go and get it. Number 26 is Divinity Original Sin 2. This is a turn-based isometric RPG, which is one of the best, if not the best game in the genre. Game is happening in a fantasy universe, and the story of this game is simply fantastic. You need to experience this game yourself. And among the choices and different paths and abilities that you can do in this game is simply second to none. Game is insanely great experience, and even though it's available on the other platforms as well, the PC is still superior one. So yeah, go and get it. Number 25 is Risk of Rain 2. It is a roguelike shooter, which combines the best parts of the roguelike games and the third-person shooters. Your goal is to progress through the different levels in, and at the end of which you are going to need to defeat the boss to, to go to the next level and the next one and the next one after that and the next one etc 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 and as time progresses and more time you take to defeat those bosses more difficult the game becomes and you can play through a few different modes and unlock few different characters which have completely different play styles basically transforming them into well, completely different types of games it's a very lightweight and amazing experience that every PC gamer should have. Number 24 is Grim Dawn. Yes, Grim Dawn is actually available on the consoles as well, but still the main release was on PC. And this is basically a Diablo-like ARPG. You control a character from the top-down view and your goal is basically to progress through the story and through the world in exactly the same way as Diablo does, but with a few very different and very interesting mechanics. Unlock the story of this grim world and find out what is happening around you and gain an insanely amount of very fun and very interesting loot on the way. Amazing experience, especially if you like old school Diablo experience. But if you want the same thing, but for free, number 23 is Path of Exile. It is exactly the, like Diablo experience, but with a few interesting mechanics like the slottable skills. And what's most important, this game is absolutely free. Diablo Immortal, if you want to do free Diablo-like RPG, that's how you need to do that. Game is being constantly updated and because of vastness of the game and because of its vast skill tree that will take quite a lot of time to master, this game will keep you good for a really, really long time. Number 22 is Valheim, an amazing survival game that is happening in the Viking setting. You are a Viking warrior that has been transported into 10th realm, which is called Valheim. And your goal is to survive in this realm and to defeat progressively difficult bosses. The game's world is procedurally generated, so every playthrough you start will be actually pretty different. Game is still in early access, and despite that game is not getting a lot of updates, it's still pretty amazing experience for any newcomer. Number 21 is Space Engineers, and it is a bit of an opposite to Valheim. The game is happening in a sci-fi space setting, and you are basically, well, space engineer. And to explain this game in two words, it is Minecraft in space. Your goal is to mine different resources and to build amazing ships and insane structures. And the things that people are building in this game is simply insane. Wanna have a fully functioning Star Destroyer in the game? Well, you can build that and you can fully control it. It's an amazing sandbox experience that every gamer should have. Speaking of real survival, number 20 is Kenshi. Kenshi is a post-apocalyptic sandbox survival game. And your goal is very simple. You need to survive. And, like, and unlike many other survival games, 
It's really a hard task here. The world around you literally doesn't care a single second about you and will do everything to kill you. And your goal is, well, to oppose that. With an insanely interesting combat mechanics and an injury mechanics, an ability to control multiple characters all at once and even build an entire cities and settlements, this game is very fun yet very brutal experience. And yep, the experience that, again, everyone should have. And number 19 is rather controversial one, it's Star Wars The Old Republic. Well, hear me out. Star Wars The Old Republic, or Swatter for short, is an MMORPG based in the Star Wars universe. Or rather, the Old Republic era of the Star Wars universe, which is happening thousands of years before the movies. Yes, game is old, and yes, game is MMO, and the mechanics in this game is, well, pretty dated. But this game has probably one of the best Star Wars stories ever. Not just in Star Wars, and if you don't believe me, go and play Imperial Agent Storyline. Game has 8 different classes, each and every one with their separate storylines and multiple expansions that will keep you glued to the story of the Star Wars games for a really, really long time. And if you want to experience the Star Wars in its fullest glory, this game will give it to you. And yep, game is free to play as well. Number 18 is Kerbal Space Program. Speaking of space, Kerbal Space Program is an amazing space program simulator which allows you to have a fully functioning space program and fully functioning spacecrafts based on the realistic physics. Build rockets and send your Kerbals into different planetary bodies and, well, research them to, well, build better rockets and send them more. It's a bit difficult yet very amazing experience that every gamer should have. Number 17 is a Dyson Sphere program. It's very similar names but they are very different games. Dyson Sphere program is a space factory builder where you are in charge of AI to harvest as much energy as possible because you need to send it to a, well, virtual world where humans have gone. Your eventual goal is to build a Dyson Sphere around the star and judging that you have actually multiple different star systems with multiple different planets to build on, you can build multiple Dyson Spheres and build an insanely large engineering structure in an entire star cluster. It's an amazingly interesting game and yep, Again, as you guessed, you should have it. Speaking of factory builders, number 16 is Satisfactory. It's a bit more down-to-earth first-person factory builder, even though it's not happening on Earth. You are basically a colonist whose goal is, well, to utilize and exploit the resources of the planet where you landed on. You need to build a lot of different factories and conveyor lines to build different goods that needs to be sent on Earth or somewhere else for others to consume. Insanely interesting and insanely fun game that you should have. Number 15 is Terraria. Terraria is in few words basically a 2d side scrolling minecraft but trust me it is much much more expensive than minecraft mine different resources build different tools build your bases and go and fight against insanely tough bosses and trust me when i say that they're insanely tough they are insanely tough and the game is really 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 long so it will keep you busy for a very very long time Number 14 is Stardew Valley, which is a farming life simulator. Don't get this old school look fool you. This game is probably one of the most heartwarming and one of the best farming simulators or rather life simulators that you can get. Build your own farm and work as hard as possible to, well, return the city around you in its fullest glory. And make a few friends on the way as well. But if you want something more brutal, number 13 is RimWorld. Again, very similar in the style of the previous two games. But again, don't let this style fool you. RimWorld is insanely tough colony building simulator. You are in charge of an entire colony and your goal is basically to, well, survive. And because of this game's insanely interesting AI director, which actually gives you completely different scenarios every time you play, no two games will be similar. And because of this, game is actually very, very difficult. Even though insanely fun and interesting. But what if you want all three previous games but in one game? Number 12 is Nessas. Or Nessasi? Nekasi? Nekas? Who named this? I'm gonna call it Nessas. It's top-down mix of Terraria and the Rim world. Your goal is to, well, survive in this world and mine the resources to fight against the insanely tough bosses. But just like a Rim world, you can actually build an entire settlement here with the settlers that that can be programmed to do different tasks. Even though game is still in early access, this game has more than enough for you to keep busy. And yeah, don't let this very simple looking game fool you. This game is 
very interesting and very fun. Number 11, and yep, sticking to the old school graphics, is Vampire Survivors. And this is probably the most fun twin stick shooter that you can actually play with one stick ever. You're playing as one of the multiple different characters that you can choose, and your goal is basically to survive the hordes of undead and other more unclean creatures. Survive in the mayhem of tens of thousands of creatures attacking you all at the same time with this incredibly simple and lightweight game. And basically, what you see on the screen right now this is what it is in the game but it's amazingly fun and everyone should experience plus this game is actually dirt cheap and number 10 is x4 foundations the space simulator sandbox that will actually give you an ability to play anyone you want in space uh, and in short it's basically like mountain blade but in space you're playing in an X universe and you can become whatever you want in this universe. And no matter whether you want to be a fighter pilot, a squad leader, a pirate, trader, station builder, doesn't really matter. You can do it all and this game is fully built to do that. Oh yeah, and you can actually control the entire factions and entire fleets in this game. But this is probably one of the best space simulators. And number 9 is Euro Truck Simulator 2. I know, it's a bit controversial, not a lot of people want to drive trucks for hours on end, but Trust me, if you like cars, this game is probably one of the most relaxing and fun experiences ever. And who knew that driving a truck and de delivering a trailers from one spot in Europe to another would be that fun. And this game is especially fun when you're gonna play it with your friends. So if you wanna just turn on the movie on one screen and play a game on another, this game is basically perfect for that. Especially if you have a steering wheel. And number 8 is Total War Warhammer. And I mean all of them. There are three games that all three games are insanely fun and insanely interesting. But this game is basically all the other Total War games, which are turn-based strategy games, but in a Warhammer fantasy universe. We control different races of this fantasy universe and control the magic or technologies of this universe in order to become the most dominant species in the world and stop the imminent destruction of it. It is very fun and you should have it. Continuing the strategy games, number seven is Europa Universalis 4. And this is a historical grand strategy game which is happening around the colonization era of the world. And, and unlike Total War Warhammer, this game is on about the realism. Yes, you don't have a bird's eye view of the battles and entire game is happening on the map, but the amount of scenarios that you can get in this game is simply insane. And you can play with any nation. And yes, I mean, any nation in the world. But you want something more modern? Well, Paradox have another thing for you as well. And number six is Hearts of Iron 4, which is, very, well, very similar to Europa Universalis, but it's happening during World War II. You also want to play with any nation during these turbulent times? Well, you can do that. And want to change the course of history? And did you ever thought about the scenarios where something would happen differently and it would change the course of history? Well, now you can actually play it. It is a very difficult game to understand, but when you will, it is insanely fun. Want to have something similar, but more focused on personalities and a bit in an older world? Well, Crusader Kings 3 is for you then. Crusader Kings 3 is very similar to previous two games, but unlike that, it's very focused on the characters themselves. So basically you have an RPG element. And unlike those previous games here, you play as a ruler of the different nations in the medieval periods. Control your dynasty, fight for the power, and create the most glorious nation in the world. You don't care about the earth at all and want to go to the stars? Well. Paradox have Stellaris for you. And number four is Stellaris. Stellaris is basically all three previous games, but happening in space. Control the interstellar empire and, and create your own races and take part in a glorious spaceship battle. Probably from all this, Stellaris is probably one of my favorite games. And continuing with the strategy games, number three is Civilization. And yeah, basically all of them, whether it's you, whether it's Civilization 6, Civilization 5, doesn't matter. Whatever Civilization you can get, go and get it. And Civilization 6 is basically a quintessential turn-based strategy game where you need to progress through different ages from the Stone Age, basically, to the modern era to take your nation through an entire history. The game is happening on hex grid and it's a bit difficult for the first timers, but when you get and understand it, it basically becomes a chess but with the nations instead of chess pieces. It's a very fun and very interesting game that you should play. And number two is City Skylines. If you want to build entire cities and have control over every aspect of the city and of the citizens' lives, you can do that. This is probably the best city building games ever and it will take really long time for anyone to surpass it. City Skylines is insanely amazing. And number one is none other than the king of the RTS games, 
Age of Empires. And yeah, basically, I mean all of them. You can go, we can get first one, second one, third one, and fourth one, and you're gonna have a lot of fun with any one of them. And I don't think the Age of Empires requires any introduction. Basically, you control all your units individually, and your goal is to build an economy and build an army in order to, well, defeat an enemy on the single map. Very fun and very interesting. Uh, and well, this really, this was our 27 best PC games that every PC gamer should own. I know that I did not include a lot of PC game giants like CSGO or Dota 2 or League of Legends, but well, this is my list. But well, if you want it, you can include it in the comments down below. Well, this should be it for today. Thanks for being here with me. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe for more videos like this one, and I'm gonna see you in the next one. See ya.